गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सो हियर आई कम अप विद माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द प्रोग्रेसिव लेंसेज अगेन एंड दिस टाइम आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू गिव यू अ न्यू पर्सपेक्टिव ऑन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट योर पी डी विच इज़ फिटेड इन द स्पेक्टिकल फ्रेम फ्रॉम द पी एम विच इज़ योर परमानेंट मार्किंग ऑन द प्रोग्रेसिव लेंस सो क्विकली लेट एस सी वॉट डू माई आई मीन बाई द परमानेंट मार्किंग सो एज यू कैन सी योर कंप्लीटली द प्रोग्रेसिव लेंस we have a temporal marking on the progressive lens you have distance reference point fitting cross prism reference point near reference circle right so uh we know that this is a term temporary marking let us see the permanent marking just see when i remove this and then we are left with the two micro etching circles and one is at the nasal side one is at the temporal side nasal side etching has brand index specification temporal side has add specification in most of the progressive lenses now uh, coming to today's topic which is on pd fitted so i just want you to note two things one is we are just going to talk about the pd and you are not going to talk about the fitting height in this particular video you should note that the distance between the two laser etching the two mark here the distance between them is in almost all cases it is 34 mm right and we are not going to cover anything on the fitting height in particular okay so let me directly come to the point i have a demo sheet here and now when it comes to frame fitting importantly we have two things one we should be aware of a size we should be aware of dbl these two parameters are really important now whenever we get a progressive lens a customer who comes with a progressive lens we have two cases or maybe three cases now this this could be considered as case one wherein you know the lenses has scratch a progressive lens a cut lens and we are able to see only the nasal part or the nasal micro etching on the progressive lens this is case two wherein we can see only the temporal mark of the progressive lens and in most cases you will be able to see both the markings now i am just going to demonstrate how you can identify on what pd it is fitted right so the similar shape i have a frame here in front of you so let us go with case 1 what we have to do is now say for example the lens is cut and is kept on the say this is a fitted progressive lens now how do i identify or what will be the pd fitted here right this can be done just by using a simple mm scale all i have to do is just measure from the deepest part in the frame to what point the laser mark is so here you can see it is close to 6 mm right just make a note of this 6 mm and then we have to apply a very simple formula here which will be following nasal engraving to the rim as i said it was 6 mm plus half of the dbl dbl here is 18 mm which is 6 plus 9 which will be 15 and plus 17 mm 17 mm is exact half of the distance between the micro etching now when you add 6 plus half of the dbl which is 9 plus 17 mm it comes to 32 and that is your pd fitted on the cut progressive lens right it is as simple now let us consider case 2 now in this particular case i am just putting it the same lens now say for example customer has come to me and i am able to see the temporal engraving right i can see the add there maybe the nasal engraving is either cut or because of scratches it is not visible again a very simple rule just hold the scale measure the deepest part so from the temple you can see the zero what i have what i have kept so we have to just kept keep it on the deepest part and you can see that this is exactly 40 mm right this is exactly 40 mm now for this temple thing what we have to apply the rule is very simple again it is the same thing temporal engraving which was 40 plus half of the dbl dbl is 18 in this case what we have taken so 
40 plus 9 becomes 49 and you have to subtract 17 mm from that. Why 17? As I already said, micro etching distance space is 34. So half of it is 17. So we are just removing 17 from that value. So now let us calculate 40 plus 9 becomes 49 and 49 minus 17 is 32. So it is very simple. You can easily calculate what is the PD fitted on the progressive lens. If you have a permanent marking, if you are able to either find out a nasal permanent marking or a tem temporal permanent marking. So stay on and in the next series of video, I would just come up with the importance of the layout chart, why there are different layout chart for different designs. Until then, thank you for watching this video. Thank you all.